Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube NetSec channel. Um, today I'm going to show you a CyberArk error message. When I tried to change the admin01 local admin password, I got an error message. It shows access is denied. So the problem is mainly relating to the default group policy. Also, it may relate to the minimum password age. I can do reconcile password. I can do verify. Reconcile password was working fine because I'm using a domain admin reconcile account and make an reconcile, which is working perfectly. So it's already been assigned here. My account here cannot see it, but it's, it's working fine. So if I do reconcile, it's okay. But when I do change password, change the password immediately by CPN, now I get an access denied error message. It's happened to my server, also happened to my workstation. So I just did the reconcile. Let's take a look at activity to see if reconcile was so this account was successfully consigned by the CPM. So if we to change, you will get that error message in a minute. Let's show the password. This is the one we have right now. So this account is scheduled for immediate change. We can see activities to see if it's working. So failure, it doesn't work, only callable error. Error in change path to user admin01. Access is denied. There's a lot of ways you can resolve this. You can buy, change the group policy, change your minimum password age settings, and it's gonna take time, but there's the easiest way to do this. Let me show you. Sign out. Login as administrator to make change to the platform. So there's a settings to fix this issue because there's a use case, users need to maintain their default group policy, they are maintaining their minimum password age, but you still want to be able to change the password. Keep that in mind, reconcile method is working. So there's a settings on a platform. So that's the platform we're gonna make the changes. Under the automatic password management, there's a additional policy settings. If there's no these additional policy settings, right click here and add additional policy settings from the right click. I already did that additional policy settings. Look at these settings. Change password reset mode. Change password reset mode. 
define whether or not password changes will be performed via reset mode using a reconciliation account. This is useful in cases where the password policy prevents the user from change, changing his own password or when the password minimum age restriction is applied. That's exactly the situation we are facing. So once you change this to yes, that means the password change by user itself gonna use in the cancellation account to do that, which is working fine for us. I need to apply, click OK. And sign out. Okay, come into this account. So the last change was failed. Let's look at the password. So that's the password we are having. Since we changed the password reset mode to yes, we're gonna use the consolidation account to do less. So let's try change again. Go to additional detail and account in classic interface. Go back to the zoom. Exit here. Go back to mean. Change the button. It's back. So the CPM will change the password to a new random password to change. Let's see how this magic thing happening now. In the one minute, the password will be changed, which was failed before. So actually this password change is using our reconciliation account to do that. Even we not doing a reconcile from the button here, we're using the change button to do it. You can check activities. You can change your password. Let's see the details. Overview. So you can see change it by password manager. Let's take a look here again. So we clicked the change, but actually the account was successfully reconciled by the CPM. More details. So this one, it did change, it's working now. We can check the password, which is already changed to a different one. That's for today's video, showing how to change your local admin password, even with you have some limitation on your group policy or minimum password age settings. Thank you for watching.